Welcome to the character gallery. Tom is... Thomas can be described as a cheeky, fussy little engine. He often gets into scrapes, usually by being over-eager to do things best left to bigger and more sensible engines. But clouds never last long in Thomas's world, and he's soon bustling about again, playing his part in the yard and on his very own branch line, of which he is extremely proud. Percy is the junior member of the principal team of engines. He is a happy little chap who's normally quite content puffing around the yard with no particular desire for adventure in the great world outside. He is always keen to oblige, a fact of which the other engines are apt to take advantage. Alfie is an excavator who makes even the toughest job in the quarry look easy. He is friendly, helpful, and loves to do all the dirty work. In fact, his favorite expression is, more dirt means more fun. Jack is the friendliest front loader the island has ever seen. Jack loves his job so much and is so eager to please that he often takes on tasks. He probably shouldn't. Check out the time when Jack had to be reminded of the quarry motto, safety first. <laughs> Kelly is the oldest and most responsible in the yard. He was the first machine that Jenny Packard's father bought and therefore shares a special relationship with Miss Jenny. Kelly is often called upon to assist vehicles in trouble and is always useful in any type of construction crisis. Isabella is a beautifully restored steam lorry, a hard and responsible worker. She is often fortunate enough to get to work with her close friends, Jack and Elfie. She is extremely proud and finds that the hardest part of her job is keeping her paint clean. Max and Monty are quite a handful. These two twin dump trucks think they know everything about construction. They often cause havoc by the reckless nature in how they work, and like to bully the smaller machines in the yard. Eventually, they always get their comeuppance. Oliver is an excavator of considerable size, power, and precision capable of moving and digging tons of earth in a single day. Despite his size and weight, he is incredibly graceful, and his manners are impeccable. Oliver can always be relied upon by Miss Jenny as the team leader when Kelly is not available. Ned is a big lumbering steam shovel. He is as sweet as he is strong, and always seems to be happy regardless of the situation. He is, however, sometimes scattered, and is constantly bumping, squashing, or breaking things. Because of this, the machines sometimes get down on Ned, but never for too long, as they know he's always trying his hardest to do a great job. Byron is a giant bulldozer, capable of moving tons of dirt with a single thrust of his blade. Byron's size, strength, and skills are very impressive, and he knows it. He doesn't like to waste his talents on jobs which he thinks are beneath him in importance. This occasionally gets Byron into trouble. Patrick, the cement mixer, knows all there is to know about cement. He is older and has a lot of experience in construction, which sometimes makes him a bit boastful. He is kind, though, and likes helping the younger, less experienced machines. Buster is a simple steamroller who goes about his job with glee and pride, knowing all is right with the world. What Buster lacks in imagination, he makes up for in heart, commitment, and hard work and is liked by all the machines in Jenny Packard's yard.
Nelson is an intelligent ballast tractor whose job is to haul members of the construction team to and from work. As the bearer of such weighty loads, he often feels overworked, but will never complain. He is extremely proud of his paint job and is happiest when he looks his best. Jenny Packard, affectionately known as Miss Jenny, is the owner and leader of the Sodor Construction Company. She is warm and complimentary and runs the yard under the firm rule that safety is her first priority. I am the director of the railway and responsible for making sure the engines are always right on time and really useful. I have a kind manner in dealing with the engines and staff and have risen through the ranks from railway engineer to my current position. I was awarded a knighthood for my services to the railway industry.